This gameplay is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Was able to capture College Football 25 a little bit early, thanks to being part of the EA Creator Network. And remember, this game is still a work in progress. It can still change from what you're watching today. In this video, we're gonna play K-Mac a couple games. Great player, you guys know that. Let's see what we got. Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Be super bummer, dude. All right, boys, like I said, we're playing K-Mac, man. You guys know him, of course. I'll put his links below. One of the best YouTubers, players, streamers, everything. Grinder of the game, one of the great players we've played a lot in the last 10 years, probably. I don't, he's not that old, maybe five years. But we're going to get after it over here in the college football. Once again, we both are just trying to learn the game. We're both getting after it. We don't really know how to have any meta, have any, you know, money plays or have any glitch blitzes or anything. We're trying to find them. We're trying to cook something up, but... Uh, right now, we're just getting after it. We're up over 80,000 subscribers. Our road to 100K in the Madden 25 College Football 25 year starts now, and it starts with you if you hit that subscribe button. Boys, once again, shout out to the EA Creator Network. The boys are loving it. We're going to get into this gameplay. Without further ado, let's get it. All right, boys, here we are. Playing K-Mac, SEC matchup. I believe I have georgia still i was rocking georgia i think georgia is one of the best teams in the game like i said georgia bama oregon michigan ohio state i mean all your big time teams are going to be on the on the game now shout out to the game man the game looks awesome you guys see these intros one of the best parts about the game is essentially you know just the graphics all the different stadiums and we've been playing neutral field as you see learning the games but you know k-max sent in alabama so this is going to be tough i will say Home field advantage is actually unreal in this game. It is unreal. In your dynasty modes, whatever you guys are playing, it is it is tough as hell to play on the road. Uh, you can't do hot routes as he hits me with a – that was like a play-action wheel route to the, to the running back out of the field. So he, he play action to the running back, and then he went on a wheel route. That was tough. Trips tight end, boys. We saw it in civil games. We see it. Like, trips tight end is still going to be a major thing, man, because, I mean, it's such a good formation to run. And right here, he's going to get a touchdown. That's another thing, boys. Running backs and things like that, they have momentum. When they hit the open field and they get up to full speed, you're not going to get shoestring tackles. You're not going to get tackled from the side. Like, you're at 100% speed. You are a freight train in this game. It is hard to bring people down once they get going in the open field. Uh, like I said, dumping the ball off here. I thought he might click on there and make a play. Travis Etienne. And once again, yeah. Oh, almost dove and caught that. But we had a nice little completion. Get us a third and five. This game, I mean, uh, K-Mac was running a lot of zone, a lot of four-man rush, you know, kind of just keeping things in front of them, playing it safe. You see a four-man rush there. Once again, we had the flats. Get the ball to Travis Etienne. And oof, I don't think it's Travis Etienne. Tra Let me know what Etienne it is. I know there's an Etienne that's currently on the Jaguars. Yeah, almost got out of there on the RPO. Like I said, once you, your players get that momentum, it's hard to really tackle them. Little blitz right here. When I, once again, dude, if you don't hard flat, it's hard to guard the flats on that wide of a field with that much space. As you see, I'm trying to switch stick right there and come down and guard the flats, uh, and he wasn't able to do that. We hit the corner out. Actually got reviewed by the booth right there. I want to step up here, we want to, and then we get a broken tackle and a fumble. I didn't want my quarterback to break that tackle. My quarterback turned into Tebow, ran through a, a, a tackle, you know, from the back, pause, and uh, then fumbled. And how in the world was that not intentional grounding? No receiver within 10 yards throws it out from the back of the end zone, doesn't get intentional grounding. We get him to a third and nine, though. Big play here. We have, he has all day. Goes up top. I get the worst type of animation trying to play for the ball there. I will tell you, playing the ball in the air is going to take some getting used to. Uh, it's tough to really see where the ball is going to go. Once again, he hits me with that wheel route again. Good tackle in the open field. It's tough to see where the ball is going to go, where it's going to land. Uh, for me, that was uh, something we got to get used to. Right here, I mean, that could have been a pick too. I, just, I guess they didn't click me on that guy that was right there to make that play. Rolls out here. As you see, Jalen Milrow, absolute nightmare. At mobile quarterback right now, absolute nightmare in this game. It's going to go to, like, what mode you guys want to play as he rolls out here. Great job just keeping everything in front of us. Nothing doing. He throws the ball away. Fourth and goal. He's going to take three. The goals are tough, but the mobile quarterbacks are insane. Milrow, the quarterback from Michigan, 
I think uh, maybe in Mutt, the quarterbacks won't be as fast right away, or, or Nut, or Cut, whatever whatever they're calling it. I don't think the quarterbacks will be fast right away, so maybe you don't got to deal with it. That speed difference won't be there from the quarterback to the D-line, but in Rags, oh my goodness, even Beck getting out of here. On the run, throws the ETN, spin move. Just, I got a score there, can't lie. Bad job not getting an end zone. Now we're inside the 10, but we're going to do a little jet touch pass, a little bubble gum into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. We're able to get within three here. Yeah, that, that fumble killed us, but, uh, you know, he's going to be tough to stop. And these guys, when you give a good player a mobile quarterback, and it's definitely going to be tough. As we try to blitz here, we get zero pressure. He's able to roll out. And that's where I have to get better at switch stick right there. If I could switch that guy a little bit sooner, we would have been able to make a play right there. Here we actually get Milrow on the ground. Second and 19 here. He's looking corner route. We switch stick perfectly on the corner route. We left the streak open. But we switched streak on the corner route. Now we got third and forever, and he's able to dot third and 30. Not dot, but get to fourth and 13 here. We're just going to rush three, seam route. Holds on to it on my best player right there. Fourth and 13, we give up. That's tough. And, and like, I mean, man, once we get some more knockouts or some knockouts are in the game, we give up a streak touchdown to trips tight end, motion out, running back. Tough. Tough. But when you go from Madden that like we've been playing for the last couple months with knockouts on everybody, and you turn around and you play a game that has no knockouts, that's it's tough to play defense. It really is. But there are some knockouts. Only there's a knockout ability. And depending on as I try to go and we fumble, try to go read option with Beck. It's just not the move. Huge fumble. Already down 10 points. We're gonna have to fight in this one, boys. Our second fumble of the game. Big fella, pick that off. But, um, yeah, let's say as he scores another touchdown, and now we're down by 17 points here. This is tough. This is a tough spot. But like I said, there are knockout abilities. It's called knockout, and essentially there's different tiers. You can have bronze, uh, silver, gold, and platinum. I think platinum would be more like the knockout that's in Madden now that happens all the time, where bronze, you might get it a quarter of the time, and, you know, gold half of the time so on and so forth and, and not a lot of players have it especially once you're confined kind of like regs you're confined to a couple teams so uh there's not that many cards that have especially the platinum knockout as we're going to have to try to get some points here we do get the ball at half i believe so we're feeling good we're feeling okay uh i mean i could have hit everybody right there but decided not to just wanted to run with the quarterback four-man rush here he actually got to me right there we get a third and five right here we're just going to dump the ball off again. It's pretty much the same defense. Like I said, this game, he went a lot of just, you know, zones, giving up the underneath, and we fumble again. Our third fumble of the game here, 24-7. to 7. As we as that happens, you kind of got to, like, realize that, you know, hit sticks really are back. They are. I feel like these, these college players in this game in general, they hit hard. They really do. Uh, and with all the jukes and with and all the jukes, this guy getting out of there on me tough. See what I mean? Breaking tackle. See? See what I mean? Breaking all those tackles once they start running. Tough. As we are now down 31-7. to seven. I honestly didn't think this game was that bad. I thought it was a pretty decent game because we're going to fight. But it's tough. I mean, when you're playing a great player on offense uh, and you fumbled it three times, it's going to be a tough scene. Right there, we hit the C route. He played underneath coverage for the, probably the first time in the game. Seam route up top, possession catch, boom, and we're just like that. We're, we're in striking distance. Roll out with Beck. Looking down the field, just get some yards, get out of bounds. That's the biggest. I mean, Beck is a beast. He's a beast, but he's not Milrow. So he's not going to get huge yards on plays like that, you know, as we look for our RPO here. We'll keep it with ETN. Big time juke him get in the end zone. So we're fighting. That's what it's about, boys. It's about the fight. I want to go for two here because we were down by a lot. And when you go for two, essentially, if you're down three scores, start going for two because eventually if you get three two-point conversions, that counts as a field goal. It can help you get back in the game. And right now we're down by 16. So it's a two-possession game, essentially. As we catch a huge pick right there. Could go crib, ran out of time, no. That could have been big getting a field goal right there. But we get the ball. We're down by 16. We get the ball. Um, tough, tough half. I feel like 
Our defense wasn't terrible. Our offense wasn't terrible. I mean, we fumbled three times. It's going to be hard to recover from that. Like I said the hit stick is back. One of my favorite plays is the middle screen right there, but his zone played it really well. Second and 11, five-man rush. We're going to jump it off to the drag again, man. You really got to make them really respect the underneath routes. That's every single passing attack in the world. The more they respect the underneath routes, the more you're going to be able to have success down the field. And I am, uh, I am, I've always found myself kind of a master of the inside five route dotting, or, you know, inside 10 route passes for the most part. As we see, Pulse right over the middle, boom, catch that. Good drive right here. Like I said, we're down 16. So if we get eight, we're in, we're in fighting distance here. We're in fighting distance. Get the ball. Don't want to get his stick. Get out of bounds. Can't fumble again. Four fumbles would be devastating. And we hit this crossing route. Boom. Touchdown. Just what we needed out of half. Just what we needed out of half to fight, boys. Going to go for two again. Go with the dive again. We get in. So we're down by eight. After all that, the boys are down by eight. Massive fight from the Bulldogs on the road in Alabama. Tough scene, but we're fighting back. Down by eight. A little bit of pressure on them right now. That's what we need. And just underneath, give me the fumble back. <laughs> Big hit right there. I'm telling you, when you guys play this game, hit stick feels rewarding. And that's what I've been asking for since. I feel like they've nerfed the hit stick ever since Pat Tillman, Madden 20. Since then, that, that hit stick was OP, that enforcer. And since then, it's been kind of weak in Madden. So I do feel like it's back. As we get a sack, we actually bring down Mill Row right there. Second and 12. We're trying to bring some heat right now. We're trying to bring something. We're trying to get some pressure. Nothing doing right there. He's able to hit the drag underneath to number 81, this big tight end. Back to our cover three. Just Mill Row again. Ugh, we need a fumble right there. Third and four. Let's get off the field right here, boys. Goes with the drag. We knock it out. Fourth and four. This is our chance right here. Stand up for ourselves. We got him. Great defense. Great. Great. Somebody get home. Milrow, get him. Get him. Get my spy. That was the spy number 11, my superstar player. Nothing doing, dude. Nothing doing. Milrow is such a nuisance. He really is. Let me go drill. Good defense right there from the boys. Good pressure. Good coverage. Once again, great. And he breaks his sack through the A-gap. Milrow. Throws it, and I don't get an animate. Oh, my goodness. Milrow breaks a sack through the A-gap. Then he continues to throw right at me, and my man just doesn't go for the ball. I thought I was in position, but just, I, I don't know. I have noticed playing this game, the back of the end zone is a little bit further away from the front of the end zone, I feel like, than any Madden game in previous years. Uh, there's more depth to the end zone. It's something I've been asking for for a long time is depth to the end zone so you can throw some of those passes in the back of the end zone. I did feel like I was on that pass, and that pick would have been huge. That stop would have been huge to get us back in this game. I mean, we're in this game. Let's not be fooled, but uh, that, that would have helped for sure. Big spin move. Get in. Ooh, inside the five. Wide receiver, quick throw. You know all my guys that play mutt. It's a pain to deal with. Etienne in the, in the end zone again. So right back where we started, boys. Down by eight. Feeling great, feeling beautiful. Just got to essentially get a stop. How can we get a stop? How can we get a stop to get the ball back in Beck's hand? I don't think we've gotten a stop this whole game. Five-man rush, and we bring down Milrow. Huge second and 16. Four-man rush. We rush off the left side. He throws a corner route, I guess, to the tight end. That's tough. That's tough. Big play from K-Mac right there. A-gap breaks the sack. Scrambles again. No fumble. Second and eight. Milrow. Again, right up the gut. Again, breaks the sack. Again, scrambles to the left. On the run. What do you want me to do, boys? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You guys play the game. You guys watch the game. I mean, what do you want me to do? I can't, I can't stop that. I can't stop that one, you know. As good as, as good as we played defense right there, we just, I mean, break a sack, the on the run, 80-yard post. That's tough. Corner route. Knocked out right there. That, that's tough that we dropped that. E Almost. Do I don't want to talk about that one. He was in the middle of the logo. Sometimes it's tough to see defenders in the middle of the logo. And we overthrow that one. Blue pass for a pick. 
<sighs> we're in a tough spot now. That, uh, we're in a tough spot. We're, we're in a loss right now is what we're in right now as we're down by 15. Tight end screen. Five man. Here we go. Free man and just Milro just runs right around number 13. I don't know who 13 is. I guess he's a he's I mean he's a star player. He's not slow. Quarterback draw, Milro. I mean, you see how slow the D-line is trying to guard these quarterbacks. Uh the, he's a nightmare. You guys see it. The lad the fourth quarter of this game, he absolutely took over the game, made it impossible to stop. Already a player that can pass pretty well, but to come out here and not be able to sack him, not be able to keep up with him. Yeah, that's going to be a nightmare against anybody with, with eyes for the most part. Corner route again, back up top. We got life, though, because the clock does stop on first down, so you can keep fighting. Corner route again. Boom, inside the five. We're going for a pass here, and somehow you got an A gap, right? I think that was a contain, honestly, that, that looped in right there. We're going running back screen right here. Good juke. Good juke again. Getting the end zone. Boom, touchdown. A little bit of life. Not a lot. Back oh, for the two-pointer. That's tough. But that's pretty much going to cook this game. I mean, the main thing I want to show you guys is just the absolute dominance of Jalen Milrow and why I think they're probably the best team in the game right now uh, as far as Alabama is concerned. Uh, I think it's uh, as we get a pick. Oh, life. But I do think um, Alabama is the best team uh, simply because of Milrow. Like, Beck has every ability. You know, he has, like, the field general, all to step up. He's not going to throw bad passes if we hit that middle screen right there. Try to get the first down or out of bounds. We don't get a first down, so class one run. But, I mean, the mobility kind of trumps all those other, uh, you know, those mental abilities. You know, the field general. Even though you can see blitzers, you can see coverage, essentially. It's like Omaha as we get picked right there by a D lineman, I believe. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, but... I think the mobile quarterback is more important than any other of these mental abilities and things like that. So for me, I think Alabama is the best. You see him right there, 550, like, killed me, killed me. Uh, yeah, but Shadi came back. Like I said, I'll leave all his links below. This was a fun game for sure. It's great playing uh, other great players, getting it done. Three fumbles in the first half. You're not really going to beat a good player like that. But we fought. We did what we could. Like I said, hit the like button comment subscribe we're closing in on a hundred thousand subscribers boys this year we do it we get it done i play every single night live on twitch too that link is below make sure you guys follow there i uh, hope you like this one boys